Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I got a God Roll Guide on my favorite gun of Season of Plunder so far, Brigand's Law. So, this is a uh, Energy Arc sidearm, 450 RPM, great recoil direction, and a lot of fun with some amazing perks. It's very viable in PvE and PvP. I have had a blast with it, and I've been I've been amazed at how good it is. So. Bring his lost sidearm. I'm going to show you the god rolls that I like for it. Show you the one I got. And I'll show you what the community thinks. And we'll talk about it. So hit the like button right now and let's get into it. So like I said, Brigham's Lost Sidearm Impact 35 Range 20. It's a sidearm. It is a rapid fire frame, so it's full auto. Uh, you just click the trigger and it goes. It's like the Suro sidearms. It goes. It's nice. Good ammo. 450 RPM. Good recoil direction. It's very manageable. It feels good on a hunter getting in there and stabbing and punching so great stability good handling nice reload speed aim assist I don't know how much aim assist matters on sidearms but all around very solid weapon it's been impressive to me I almost use it like an auto rifle so it's been really good so let's get into saying so as many times as I can so this is my favorite god roll so far of season of plunder brigands law sidearm with volt shot I love Volt Shot. I've not gotten an enhanced Volt Shot, but the regular Volt Shot is delicious. So it's a rapid fire frame. I went with Arrowhead Break for the vertical recoil control. Accurized Rounds for some more range. Killing Wind for the range from kills. Volt Shot because it's amazing. So you get overcharge the weapon for in improved period, causing it to jolt. It's really good on a, on, a, on a hunter with an arc build or just an arc build. And then right hook origins trait synergizes very well with these two traits. I went with a backup mag mod and a stability masterwork. That's God roll number one. The reason being is I wanted the recoil control from arrowhead break and it gives you a bonus to handling, which is nice for PVE. Accurized rounds because I found the range is a little bit lacking. So I wanted to push it out a little bit with accurized rounds for the mag. Uh, we went backup mag to keep the magazine sites up. The one I had, I think, had hammer forged and extended mag. I will get there. Uh, but killing wind and volt shot is a combination that I've been using and I like a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, really a lot. Uh, it's really, really good with the right hook because you go in, you punch them, you shoot them, you reload, and then you got killing wind, volt shot, and right hook all active and your uh, subclass perks, and this gun just goes off. I love it. So, this is my first god roll. I did make a second god roll to lean even harder into the punching. This is god roll number two for Brigham's Law Sidearm. Uh, I went with a swashbucker, swashbuckler? What's a swashbucker? Uh, swashbuckler pugilist build. So it's a rapid fire sidearm. It's full auto, arrowhead break for the recoil control and the handling, flared magwell for reload speed and stability, and then pugilist enhanced to go with the punching, so final blows generate melee energy, dealing melee damage improves the weapon's handling. That's nice, it's gonna handle like a dream. Swashbuckler for the bonus to damage for kills with the weapon or melee final blows. And then we got right hook's origin trait, dealing melee damage gives increased target acquisition and range. Dealing melee damage again extends it. I went with backup mag to get some mag size in there and a handling masterwork because I figured this one you're going to be in there dodging, punching, shooting, dodging, punching, shooting, dodging, punching, shooting uh, until they're all gone. So that's why I went with a handling masterwork. You might want range on this. I don't know. Haven't used this version. Don't know. I had stability on the other one. I got handling on this one. What's the next one you ask? This is my PvP Brigand's Law sidearm. I went with a uh, interesting combination of perks on this one. Uh, it's a rapid fire frame, so it's a full auto arc sidearm. I went with Hammer Forge and Accurize for the range. Enhanced Perpetual Motion for the stability of handling a redo reload while you're in motion, because in PvP you don't stop moving. And then Enhanced Range Finder for the good ADS uh, sight picture with a range master work and backup mag. Backup mag because I feel like you're gonna need a little bit more bullets. I like having a lot of bullets in my gun. I feel like 15 on this one might have been a little bit light. Uh, and we do have the right hook origin trait too for punching and getting those bonuses. So you just gotta deal melee damage so you can punch them and then back up and shoot them. I know a lot of people go for a double punch. They punch and then they try to punch again. In PvP, punch them and back up. That way they can't punch you again and you can just laser them from, hit, from the hip fire. So I like this one. I like this one for PvP. 
It feels real nice. It looks real nice. I want to hold it in my hands and caress it. Uh, but what do you think, chat? That's that's an interesting roll. It is craftable, so you can build this however you want it. I like I like this. I'm holding study girl up in my hand. Um, she's on pretty much all the time in here. So that's the three rolls that I like. Haha, <laughs> made you look. Uh, let's see what I got in my inventory, and then we'll take a look at what the community's running. So, you already know what I have, because I told you 15,000 times. I got the Volt Shot, Killing Wind. I do have Flared Magwell and Full Bore. Uh, I've also got Chambered Compensator and Tactical Mag. I went with the range on it, since it has stability as the Masterwork. So, that's the one I have there. I have another one over here that has Demolitionist and Pugilist. I kept that one, because I wanted to try that out with Right Hook. It's got accurized rounds and chambered compensator. It also has what else has it got? Small bore, steady rounds. So I haven't gotten enough deep sight resonant versions of this gun yet to um, build one. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Now here's what the community's running: uh, Arrowhead, Accurized, Pugilist, Volt Shot, and of course Right Hook. That's like perpetual motion, feeding frenzy, threat detector, killing wind. Like this whole first column's good. Most of the second column is good. I don't like Adagio or Sympathetic Arsenal, but everything else is very, very usable. Uh, Accurized rounds seem to be the consensus top pick, along with corkscrew and arrowhead for the handling and range. Handling and recoil control or range. I don't know. What do you think? What's your best roll? What do you like about it? Let me know in the comments. It's a solid gun that I'm going to enjoy for a long time. I don't know if I'll get, I don't know if it's high on my list to get the crafted version because the one I got so good, but I would like to just make a crafted version of the one I got with the enhanced perks. So I don't know, I might have to do that. So let me know in the comments what gun you want me to take a look at next. And uh, thanks for watching, see you bye. Can I interest you in a little bit of everything all of the time? I gotta hit that note. Little bit of everything, all of the time, all of the time. Apathy's a tragedy and boredom is a crime. This is me singing and it's not Bo. It ain't Bo. Bo knows the song, but so do I, because I just watched it on TikTok. Finger guns. Little bit of everything, all of the time. I like it. Sup to death from above. Will Dak get a dumb death from above suits like some man's? Will he get a hit? Find out next time on stream.